When you are looking at a floor plan, a floor plan is usually drawn as a horizontal slice about four and a half feet looking down towards the floor. So, right over here is a drawing for a standard hinge door. And so you can see the gray in this area and that area. That's the wall. This rectangle right here is the door. This area right here is the hinge point. This is where the door touches the wall. And this is the swing over here of the door as it closes. This is representative. We're typically using a standard width of one and a half or one and three quarters of an inch for the width of the door, but we always show the hinge point and where the door closes. Then we have a double door. With a double door, one is typically fixed or usually closed. The other is the, is the dominant door. Just like with the single door, we have our hinge points. And what you might see in some drawings is they might have one door dashed in this area, which would mean that this is the door that's typically closed. Right here, we have bifold or closet doors. Again, you can see the door is hinged here and it's hinged on the bottom side here. So when they buckle down, this area here slides down and will align with the lower part of the door right there. Here we have a pocket door. You can see that typically what's happening is we're showing the door. Pocket doors these days are usually purchased as an assembly, which has a frame that stretches from over here back to here. It has the thinner walls assembled there, and it has the track that goes above the door. But again, so here's a pocket door. It's an assembly. You can see that it slides to the left and the right. Here is what they call a bypass sliding door. So we can see the door here. We see the direction. What you'll see in some instances is an archway. So you can see the wall here, the wall here, and then this is a dashed or hidden line that shows the line of the archway or the opening above.